Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, it's me Rad and uh, welcome to Radku Tarot. So in this whole video, um, we're going to analyze, or I'm going to analyze for you, uh, Aries experiences throughout the upcoming week, uh, which is October 26th to November 1st, 2020. And uh, in case any of you is interested in a personal reading, um, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a full list of my services as well, their pricing. And also, you can, uh, under the tarot classes section, you are going to find as well a um, tarot courses in case you want to dive uh, deeper into uh, the tarot science. So with that being said, um, moving to the spread straight away, which is going to contain uh, actually eight cards. And the spread is in two layers. So the very first upper layer is going to describe um, your romance areas, uh, your relationship, and so on and so forth. The bottom layer is going to talk about a career manifestation or rather like professional manifestation, which relates to your career, your job, your private business, etc. etc. So uh, just to make it a little bit easier on me. I'm going to turn over the first four cards. We start with the lovers um, and make an interpretation on them before I turn the bottom layer of uh, the spread so I just don't distract myself. So we do have the lovers here followed up with the eight of a cups. Next one is going to be the 10 of pentacles and the last one that we do have, that is the five of cups. And I have only one word for you guys, that is a reconciliation. And it doesn't have to be with a uh, 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 with a um, broken relationship. We could also speak about a breaking, currently a breaking relationship as well. Bottom line, things are going to get better, okay? At least according to those cards. But not in a way probably that you are anticipating. Because these two here, these two cards are talking about or kind of like divulging, if I may say it that way, that whatever the problem is, that needs to be talked about rather than uh, swiped under the rug. Like pretending it's, it, it never happened, you know, like pretending that it isn't there. Like it's not going to be a problem. It is a, a problem. And... Um, you and your person of interest, you and your wife or a husband, you and your partner in life have to learn to live with it. And that can happen only by you talking with each other, only by you, if you will, reassuring one another as well, because this is uh, something that the Ten of Pentacles touching, is touching on. Um, one of you may feel a bit insecure about the relationship that the other is going to leave them alone. And that thing needs to be brought to bear. That, that concern needs to be talked about. It will put you both in a vulnerable position. It will put you both out of your comfort zone. But once it's talked over, once the assurances, if we can speak that way, are given the trust in between you and that person is going to grow exponentially and exactly that will be the name of the game throughout this week trust okay you have to make your partner trust you you have to learn to trust your partner as well and that of course it's uh it's a decision, it's a choice that you both will have to make. So with the lovers, you know, people get excited. Oh my God, I'm going to find my true love now. And that's true. But do you know what true love is? It's my question. True love it is when you become whole with someone. Not by being, uh, how can I say, amplified. When that person is the same as you are, that is an amplification. In order to become whole... You have the, the, the other person needs to be an addition, which means that if you hate golfing, the other person love golfing, so they add golfing in your life. Okay, that's why the lovers is one of the most difficult energies to work around with, especially if we're talking about just now forming relationship. And if your relationship is now just forming by you listening to this video. That week is going to be rather very tough 
for you because you have to talk about and work around or work with all of those things of the other person's character, of the other person's life that you hate and you have to learn to love them. And only then the lovers unfold. For the lover speaks that two perfectly matching opposites collide and they form one whole. So no, lovers isn't about soul mating, it's about the true love and the true love doesn't make sense. That's why it's true. You hate the guy, but you love it. Okay, you hate what the guy is, but you love the guy itself. It doesn't make sense, but it doesn't make it untrue. And because you can't make sense of the love you have, that's what makes it true. So, going forward with the week, moving through the time and reaching the end of the week, we are accomplishing the Five of Cups, which in this particular case speaks about... Um, I probably will not going to use the right English term here. The best that comes to my mind, that's the, uh, a, a, a resignation. In a sense of that's why you may find yourself a bit disappointed. The things cannot be, uh, you know, the way you want them to be, the way you like them to be, and you have to learn to live with them and so on and so forth. You are to realize that that's not something you are going to die from. That's not something that you can't live with but you can, K-A-N, live with. And uh, definitely the things that have disappointed you from, from the character of your person of interest or of your beloved one, they're not, uh, these are not a permanent disappointment. In fact, you learn to live with that so-called negative side, quote unquote, as it is disappointment now is going to be a point of exhilaration later. Okay, so stray for the difference. The difference is what needs to make you special for one another rather than to seek all of the same. Uh, moving next, we do have a career manifestation here or a, um, how can I say, professional manifestation, manifestation. First one is going to be the five of wands. Moving next, we do have the seven of a wands followed by the king of a pentacles and after that that is to be the knights of pentacles so career manifestation you do have a serious trouble to go through throughout the week uh, in fact uh, for what it seems uh, how do you say it in english guys when it's somebody is not just only talking behind your back but it is um it's sabotaging your work. This is this is what you have to go through throughout the week itself. There are some nasty rumors probably that you are un unaware of, but you are going to become aware of by a pure coincidence and a pure chance of a circumstances throughout the week itself. And probably you're not going to be very happy, especially when you learn who is the person that is spreading those nasty rumors, those maybe fallacies as well about you, about your performance and about your work as well. And it's going to be rather quite difficult, as we can see here with the seven of wands falling into this position to stand your ground. Now, uh, the problems that are residing within the seven of wands, especially when this follow up, um, they are very they're not difficult to overcome, but astute action it's required. What I mean is that as soon as you do hear the rumor, you don't pretend that it never happened. You don't, uh, how can I say, look the other way. You challenge that, that rumor. You do challenge that statement and you do prove it wrong straight away there. Otherwise, things are going to escalate pretty quickly. And uh, when a lie is said a hundred times, it becomes a truth in a sense of that even if you do dispute the hundred times said lie with arguments, no one, nobody will believe to those arguments. One trump you have it is that the person you are working for, may that be your client, may that be your boss, may that be your supervisor, currently is on your side here having it with the king of pentacles. They very know uh, they very well know what you are giving into the work. They very well know what you are capable of currently. They are not prone to believe to those rumors, I would say it that way. But if you leave the 
situation unchecked, if you uh, straight away give up on standing for yourself, even if they do not believe the rumors, you are only going to prove that you are weak and they will have no chance but to say get rid of you. Okay. So it's very important uh, to stand up to the, it's not even a challenge, it's more like uh, defending yourself. You got to put up your defense. Okay. And should you do so, by the end of the week here, we are observing how things are getting back to, nor to normal. Um, in fact, with the Knights of Fate Pentacles, uh, there will be some kind of an establishment by the end of the week, for you that is, in terms of career, that will allow you to plan your career, your job, for example, your projects, for example, or your private business in a long run. So making your defense you are going to make everybody see that you are a force to be reckoned with and that you are not going to give up just because of a pure intimidation, for example, or just because, um, how, what, what is the word here? Uh, you are not going to give up uh, just because it doesn't have a, a physical manifestation that you, wh whatever you have been threatened from, if that makes sense. So, um, you have a lot to do throughout this week, Aries. I hope that you do it right, uh, especially when it comes to uh, when it comes to love. Because believe it or not, it looks like a true love, but can you handle it? Well, that's another story. And in terms of career, even if you do not put your defense, it's not going to be the end of the day. You know, many jobs are starving right now. So even if you end up being laid off. You're going to find yourself a job, no problem whatsoever with that Knights of Pentacles. But it's going to be a shame to allow somebody that is way beneath you, you know, to pretty much ruin your otherwise a uh, good strive. So, yeah, that being said, Aries, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Till then, bye.